In Anbar, as part of Operation Desert Lynx, the 7th Iraqi Army and Sunni tribal fighters liberated Juba and have progressed an additional 25 kilometers north through Barwana. They met with generally light resistance comprised of IEDs and small arms fire. Dulab is now the last enemy holdout on the Jazeera side of the Euphrates River. Jazeera means west. Uh, we had an added bonus from the Juba operation. On May 13th, we struck and killed two high-value individuals. Abu Hamza was a mid-level military commander who was responsible for the area between Nazaria and Juba. Hamza was a former AQI member who we know planned and conducted attacks against Americans during Operation Iraqi Freedom. More recently, he's been responsible for coordinating ISIL fighters, reinforcements, and finances in the Euphrates River Valley. Local fighters thought highly of him as a motivator and a leader. Now he's dead, as is his associate, Abu Sophia, who is responsible for staging chemical attacks in the Euphrates River Valley. Now, this is important news, and it's good news, but today's real headline is that Iraqi security forces have entered Rutba. And although a small town, Rutba has outsized strategic value. Rutba lies on the main route between Baghdad and Jordan, and opening it will impact the economies of both Iraq and Jordan. And it will de deny ISIL a critical support zone as well. Another reason this operation is important is because it highlights the increased interoperability of Iraqi forces. The Iraqi Counter-Terror Service, who are without any question the most elite forces on this battlefield, are spearheading the operation. But for this fight, the CTS is working closely with several other forces. The Anbar Police Special Tactics Battalion is fighting side by side with the CTS to clear the town, while the Iraqi Border Force and Anbar Sunni Tribal Fighters have established a blocking position outside the town. Over the past several months, we've been preparing these forces specifically for this operation uh, with equipment and advanced mission-specific training. So this is a win.